सो दिस कोर्स विल डील अबाउट द वॉर ऑफ करंट्स एंड हाउ निकोला टेस्ला एंड थॉमस एडिशन शेप द फ्यूचर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टेक ऑन द हिस्ट्री वेयर द वर्ल्ड्स टू मोस्ट प्रोलिफिक जीनियसेज एंड साइंटिस्ट एंड इन्वेंटर्स कोलाइडेड हेड टू हेड एंड दिस इज प्रजेंटेड बाय मी रोमन सैनी एंड वी विल हैव अ डिटेल्ड आउटलुक सो दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन लेसन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वाई डू यू कॉल इट वॉर ऑफ करंट्स you call it war of currents because there are a lot of events that were involved relating to the these two companies which were competing against each other in late 1980s to early uh, late 1880s to early 1890s and the two companies were one was called as edison electric and the other was called as westinghouse electric company edison electric was obviously it uh, belonged to thomas alva edison and the westinghouse electric company uh it was with westinghouse uh, along with nikola tesla so the edison electric company they were the like they were using the direct current method to distribute it while the westinghouse electric company was based on the alternating current uh fun fact the like in 1896 like general electric uh, the edison electric uh, earlier it became general electric and it was one of the original 12 companies that were listed on the dow jones industrial average and after 120 years also it is still there so that is huge and it is one of the largest company on earth currently now it was because there was a lot of competition between these two companies also the second point was there was a fear in the public's mind that we might die by electrocution because there was such a high voltage ac current and there were a lot of debates over its safety and regulation and finally the third point was like uh, the electric chair was introduced as an execution method and it was done to by the uh, like uh, the dc company to malign the name of the ac company so now let us have a brief introduction about nikola tesla who was he uh, why is he is he called a mad scientist why is he called a eccentric genius so this course i am making because today is 10th july and it is the birthday of nikola tesla i really admire him a lot and uh, 10th july 1856 till 7th january 1943 he lived in his 80s and uh, he was not an american he was a serbian american a european and uh, he was a physicist he was an electrical and mechanical engineer and in one word he was uh, one of the greatest inventor and a futurist i call him futurist because he always were uh, was ahead of his time always and uh, he is mostly known for designing of the alternating current electricity supply system which till today powers majority of the electricity in this world he had an eidetic memory meaning thereby he does not need any pen and paper usually he can think everything in his head and like can visualize lot of 3d objects and can do the experiment in his head itself so apart from the the obviously the ac current he is also known for tesla coil which could generate high voltage and high frequency currents he also when they established uh, the hydroelectric power plant at niagara falls which we will deal later he also started something uh, related to x rays before it was officially discovered by william royngen and uh, he also uh, showed that wireless transmission and uh, some people also credit him with the radio discovery but it is largely uh, largely it goes to marconi and he also tried to build what is called as warden cliff which was a huge huge tower of 187 foot and he promised jp morgan who was one of the very very wealthy banker of that time that he can relay news and stock reports across massive distances if he funds it but uh, somehow uh, the funds were pulled back and this project could not be fulfilled later on also he predicted lots of things which were far far ahead of his time now let us see about the second uh, person in this picture thomas alva edison he does not need any introduction he is considered the biggest inventor of all time he had more than 1000 patents exact 1093 uh, in his childhood he did not attend much of the formal schooling uh, most of the teachers said that he will not be uh, able to study he was hard of hearing because he had scarlet fever so he lost much of his ability to hear that is why he could not do formal schooling and it, he was taught at home as well as self taught uh his discoveries are endless i cannot count all of the discoveries in this uh, lesson but we will start with the light bulb 
which is the biggest discovery of Thomas Edison and that is why he had to discover this entire electricity around it. Then he discovered the phonograph in which the sound uh, could be reproduced and it was the first device and it revolutionized the music industry completely and he also uh, did what is called as the motion picture camera so that movies could be shot so entire industries started because of Thomas Elva Edison but people say that other people were also inventing these things so if he would not have invented some someone else must have he is also known as wizard of the menlo park he is the most famous inventor uh, innovator but apart from that he had a sharp mind and he had a very very huge business acumen just like steve jobs late steve jobs of apple and uh, he in some way invented the modern way of innovation how because he employed large number of smart people he paid them good salary he gave them direction he motivated them he instilled a sense of purpose in them and he helped them in inventing important technological marvels which till date are like in modified form help us he also uh, like uh, developed a battery for an electric car okay recorded music is completely lot of industries started because of him music industry recording industries were all because of thomas elva edison and like like light bulb i do not need to say the importance of light bulb at that time so if we have a basic comparison so you will see that when it comes to patents so nikola tesla had around 300 and thomas edison has more than 1000 now this is mainly because thomas edison was a great businessman and he could employ large number of people who could work for him instead of he working alone nikola tesla was not at all a businessman he made very very poor business decisions but he was a great genius and an inventor when it comes to major inventions as i have already spoken it is phonograph motion picture camera and light bulb for thomas edison while for nikola tesla it is modern ac electricity supply system these are the major contributions of these two gentlemen and when it comes to nikola tesla he is considered as a mad scientist so it means he does not had any business acumen he used to talk about fantasies that he had some god gifts that he received his power from space he used to talk about death rays he used to talk about uh, very science fiction stuff which was far far ahead of his time so obviously he was very eccentric he told that there should be 18 napkins on his table before he eats he was a very very big germophobe which means that he could not meet or greet other people he was thinking that uh, he will get infected because of the germs on the other hand thomas edison was a very sharp and successful businessman he knew exactly uh, what he needs in life he knew how to impress investors and he started lot of big businesses and till today general electric which is company is still there after 120 years he was the main founder of that company so now let us see what were these wars all about do continue watching the lessons